So the core practice of this retreat, and that's what I'm going to focus on, the core practice is drawing into the dark and drawing into the light. We come together as a group at twilight, uh, at dusk, say, and as we sit down at our tables, we spread our drawing materials out around us, we each have our own space, we begin painting and drawing together on our own pieces. As the darkness begins to come into the space, as the light begins to disappear, I notice my strategies for control kick in. And <laughs> believe me, I have a lot of them, and I'm very creative with coming up with them. So as this happens, and I can no longer see the, distinguish the materials, and then shortly after, I see more strategies for control. I even say hello to them. I notice them. Then next what happens is I lose even the ability to see my own hands. I lose my body. I lose all the materials. I can't even see the marks on the paper now. They've disappeared entirely. The next thing that happens after all that I've exhausted my strategies for control, Next, what comes up for me is when it turns pitch black. Pitch black. I see nothing. I, nothing familiar is around me. Then I throw my hands up. I say, I give up. I can't do this. I can't draw this drawing. I let go of my in-chargeness. And I let the drawing draw itself. I suddenly, at that moment, feel my world expand. In the darkness, I am swimming. I discover I have had a partner all along that I never knew was there. I wasn't doing the drawing myself all alone. I wasn't, didn't have to strain to do it. I simply relax into the arms of my new dance partner, the darkness, and swim in there while the drawing draws itself. I don't know how long I stay there, it varies, but when I'm nourished enough, I go to bed. Each person does when they're ready, goes to bed. The next morning, we come together. In the pre-dawn, it's still pitch black, we come in, settle ourselves at our drawing pl places, and we begin to draw. You can hear the scritchy scratchy of the pens and pencils all over the room, or the slush of the paint, you can hear the breathing, everybody's breath. And you sense that you're not alone in this pitch dark now. You sense that you're not alone doing your drawing. You, in fact, hopefully have brought back with you the sense that your unseen partner as well is there. The darkness, the not knowing, the mystery, the unseen reality. And you begin drawing. And as you draw, as I draw, and as each person draws, the light starts to come back into the room. For me, when that starts to happen, there's an excitement because I begin to see not only the other people hunched up over their drawing tables in the shadows now, but I begin to see shadows of shapes on my paper. The shadows of shapes on my paper are very exciting because I then notice I can see a little bit a hint of color. So I can begin to make choices which one to pick. I can begin to see this form and give it meaning. My mind has been thirsting to jump in and give meaning and interpret, even make decisions and evaluate and judge even. Suddenly I am noticing that my world is shrinking to my drawing and all the decisions that I am making and what I am doing in this moment, it's shrunk to me and my drawing and my doing and my knowing, my evaluating. And at that moment, when I feel my world shrinking, if I can notice that, I turn around and I invite back in to the light, what I learned in the darkness. I notice again my unseen reality partner. I notice that it can be effortless, 
that the drawing can draw itself, and now I can just play and dance in the kaleidoscope of, of unending shapes and colors and forms and uh, life's parade. So I then have heaven on earth. I have the best of both worlds. That's my experience. I'm inviting you to come have your experience.